welcome back friends uh, we are talking about secretions in digestive system and the importance of different secretory molecules in digestive system now in this video we'll be talking about the secretions that are coming from two major secretory glands one is pancreas another one is liver both of these gland, uh, glands like pancreas and liver they play vital role in the sec providing secretory molecules so before going into the discussion i must draw a picture which uh, kind of contains all of these things together so if I draw it it will something look like this so this will look like stomach and the duodenum is coming on like that and let's say during this process this is the if this is the duodenum we usually find pancreas aligned this way it is having a channel that is coming from the pancreas and opening here in this duodenum and we are also having liver standing in the back side like this way like that and through the liver also we are finding a channel coming in and attaching into the duodenum and rest of the part will be the small intestinal region and then they come to the large intestinal region here you can find the large intestinal section like that and so on and finally this is a kind of structure of our digestive system at the end so in this video we'll be talking about the pancreatic secretion so this is pancreas pancreas and we'll be talking about pancreatic secretion now in pancreatic secretions actually pancreas provides uh, majorly two important functions one is protection another one is a digestion okay so let me write the important factors or the secretory molecule that pancreas provides us actually causing two important functions one is uh, protection another one is digestion i must write digestion at the first place because this is the first and uh, primary job of uh, the pancreatic secretions because what we know that uh, rest of the part that we have seen that most of the time the duodenum region is free of any kind of normal secretions because lot of secretions are kind of coming to duodenum from pancreas and liver not from the duodenum itself so whatever food product we take the stomach is a kind of place where they are kind of mix one uh, enzyme only that is pepsin right except for that there is no other enzymes secreted so only we, we have seen that if we if we think about the from the beginning that the food is taken if it is carbohydrate amylase is mixed which is an enzyme at mouth but it only act on carbohydrate molecules and if it, it is protein then first time enzyme secreted in this stomach but there is no enzyme to degrade lipid is secreted either in mouth or in stomach so this is the first time when the lipid degrading enzymes kind of secreting from this pancreas region or pancreatic region as well as from this liver's liver liver region okay so if we look at here in this case of the digestion part of the pancreas pancreas it contains three major type of enzymes and those enzymes are responsible for cleaving carbohydrates proteins as well as fats okay so these are the three major enzymes and if i write down the name of the enzymes one is trypsinogen chymo sorry so chymo trypsinogen and and another one is a pro carboxypeptidase so these are the three major enzymes that they produce procarboxypeptidase chymotrypsinogen trypsinogen and i remind you all of them are required for degrading protein to degrade protein molecules not lipid or not any uh, carbohydrate because all of them are protein degrading enzymes chymotrypsinogen chymotrypsinogen and procarboxypeptidase okay so in the, all of them they are secreted in the inactivated form that's why they are called 
gen at the terminal or pro at the at the prefix region okay so these are inactivated form so to, to make them activated we need to cleave certain sections of these enzymes right as you've seen in case of the uh, pepsinogen that is secreted in stomach right in gastric secretions now in this case how can we make, can we make them active for making them active we need some enzymes and the enzymes here we require is called kinase enterokinase so enterokinase is the enzyme which is also being secreted by this pancreatic border cells those enterokinase enzymes are coming in, in close proximity proximity of these enzymes they cleave these enzymes in a particular area and they, what they will produce they produce trypsin trypsin from trypsinogen chymotrypsin from chymotrypsinogen right and also carboxypeptidase from procarboxy so they kind of eliminate out this gene parts and this pro part then all of them becomes activated like trypsinogen trypsin chymotrypsin and carboxypeptidase and this thing is brought about by enterokinase and this whole work is brought about by this process so enterokinase kind of work in uh, work against trypsinogen let me tell say trypsinogen and it breaks down trypsinogen into trypsin so as it is breaking down trypsinogen into trypsin now this trypsin can further act on trypsinogen and it can break down trypsinogen into trypsin so it's a kind of auto regulatory activity it can act on chymotrypsinogen and can convert chymotrypsinogen into chymotrypsin So trypsin, the, so first we produce trypsin using the enzyme enterokinase. Then when trypsins are generated, they auto act on it. They auto act on trypsinogen to produce more trypsin and to produce more chymotrypsin from the precursor forms. Okay, and thus they will produce all the necessary enzymes that are required for the protein degradation here. Some and they also produce some kind of lipase in this case, pancreatic li lipase. I forgot to mention here, they also produce pancreatic lipase this enzyme is useful for degrading fat right and so for that case so this is the first region where the fat degrading enzymes kind of mixed with our digestive juices so that is very very important so if we eat a fat meal we know that it is not going to be degraded anyhow in the mouth it's not going to be degraded anyhow in the stomach the only region for the first time it is going to be degraded the degradation will begin at this duodenum region right so that is the reason fat molecules need to be digested or, or fat molecules require more time for their digestion than the carbohydrate and protein molecules so finally the degradation will go on there due to the help of all of these enzymes from the pancreas okay and the second thing that we have talked about the first obviously the protection right and pancreas will, along with all of these enzymes necessary for digestion it produces another factor that is the bicarbonate ion a solution containing bicarbonate now bicarbonate is basic or alkaline in nature so when they produce bicarbonate the actual goal is to destabilize or actual goal is to lower down the ph uh, or lower down the acidic ph of the mixture of food which is called chyme right because the chyme is moving from stomach to the duodenum so as chyme is moving from here to the duodenum it is consisting of HCl which is present in the stomach so chyme is filled with HCl which is acidic it can create any damage into the duodenum to prevent the damage it need to neutralize this acidic effect to neutralize acid pancreas secretes bicarbonate it produces bicarbonate molecules so the bicarbonate can de so bicarbonate can uh, stabilize that acidic content of chyme in the duodenum so that it cannot make any harm and that is the part of the protection by pancreas so this is in a sense uh, the secretory molecules coming from pancreas and they help in the digestion uh, and usually all of the secretory molecules that we can find they are kind of uh, attached with this kind of duct that is present in the pancreas we can find so they are just kind of attached by the duct and the pancreas is secreting all of them all together and they are releasing from the cells and they are added to this duct and they are kind of released in the duodenum. And pancreas, remind you, pancreas is a mixed organ. Why we call it a mixed organ or mixed uh, 
gland because it is having the functionality of two glands which is endocrine as well as exocrine now here what we can see the secretion of enzymes secretion of bicarbonate this means this this activity of exocrine activity it it can also show some kind of endocrine activity remember it can produce or it can secrete the in major two hormones insulin and glucagon to regulate the blood glucose level that is also important and the secretory pathway for producing insulin and glucagon is endocrine in nature so it's a mixed gland it can produce all of them together so that's kind of it and i hope that's helpful thank you